Hi, and welcome to part four of the ABCIX QTRAP video series. In this video, we will give you an overview of how you can analyze MRM EPI scans to confirm positive findings of your routine testing methods. Let's get started. Okay, so you've detected a residue or contaminant in your sample, and you want to review your MRM triggered EPI scan data for ID confirmation. With Analyst software, it's as easy as these six steps. Step one, activate your MSMS -MS compound library by going to Explore mode, select Tools, Settings, Optimization Options. In the new window, select Library Manager and choose your library. Here we will choose our pesticide library, then click Connect and finally click OK. Step two, open the chromatogram file for your sample of interest. Step three, double click on the peak at the retention time of interest. In this case, it's at 4.1 minutes. Step four, set up your library search constraints by right clicking on the EPI spectrum pane and selecting set search constraints. Here is where you set up your library search parameters. We suggest setting the mass tolerance to 0.4, the first precursor mass to charge to 0.25 Daltons, and the collision energy to 5. You will also want to sort your results by purity score. Click Apply, then click Search. Note that you only need to set up these library search parameters once. They will default to the values you enter for each subsequent library search. That means for any later searches, you will just need to right-click in the EPI spectrum pane and select Search. Step 5. Review the library search table. The key parameters of interest are the fit, the reverse fit, and the purity score. High values for these mean good correspondence between your unknown spectrum and your library spectrum. As a result, higher values for these can give you higher levels of confidence in the ID of that unknown peak. Step 6. Print your library search results or record results for your records. In these six easy steps, you are able to use your MRM EPI scan data to perform a library search to verify the identification of any positive peaks that you may have found in your unknown sample. Step 1. Activate your MSMS -MS compound library. Step 2. Open the chromatogram file for your sample of interest. Step 3. Double click on the peak of interest. Step 4. Right click in the EPI pane, set up the search constraints, then search your compound library database. Step 5. Review the library search results. Step 6. Report your final results. The outcome of this data processing approach is better confidence in your results. You are able to ensure that your identification of that residue in your unknown sample is correct. Keep in mind that comparing EPI results to library spectra can also be done in other ABCIX software platforms, including Library View software, Clickwood software, and through Analyst Reporter. Go to abcix.com slash QTRAP for food testing help to submit additional questions you may have about data processing or to get support about alternative data processing approaches. We hope this six-step overview is helpful in guiding you to using EPI scan data to confirm positive results for your routine testing methods using QTRAP. If you'd like to get updates when more of these videos become available, or if you have suggestions for other topics you'd like to learn more about, go to abcix.com slash QTRAP for food testing to send us your feedback and sign up to receive updates.